If you say her name, Will Smith will appear behind you and slap the shit out of you. Oh my god, I went on vacation and I came back and the internet is exploding. As you probably guessed by now, today we're talking about the Will Smith, Chris Rock incident at the Oscars. Will Smith walked up to the stage and slapped Chris Rock for joking about his wife's hair loss condition. Jada Smith is bald, she has alopecia, and Chris Rock calls her G.I. Jane. Here's the clip. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane too. Can't wait to see it. Alright? <laughs> <laughs> That was, a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Get my wife's name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name I'm going to. And understandably, the internet's response was quick and fierce. I'm telling you, man, the memes are all over the place. We have one side that was absolutely shocked and disturbed by the violence that was displayed at the Oscars. Someone is so enormously famous and successful like Will Smith that they literally still allowed him to not just win the Academy Award, but also go up and accept it and give a speech after. First of all, it sets a terrible precedent. Yes. In, in in so many different ways, so it's a terrible precedent for comedy clubs. Yes, like are people going to yes. decide that they're going to go on stage and Ooh, smack the comedian? I, I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless. That's the end of comedy at the Oscars. Just remove it. Remove the comedy portion. Remove the entertainment portion of the Oscars, and just let these people suck themselves off and give each other awards. And we have another side that was just laughing and making memes about it. Even Kanye was like, you went on stage and did what an award show? <laughs> Chris Rock got himself in a hairy situation. He shined a light on female alopecia, while Jada's head shined a light on everything else. <laughs> Now, what's interesting is that after this moment, the show went on completely. Will Smith even won Best Actor, and no real consequences came of this. You see Will Smith partying after the fact, dancing like nothing happened. And then he gives his acceptance speech, which was a complete joke. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people you know he says he wants to be a vessel for love he wants to be someone who portrays love and yes for all of you guys who are wondering to be a vessel for love is to slap people when they piss you off i completely get the perspective where comedians are like you expect us to be edgy and make edgy jokes but then when one joke hits someone in the wrong way, you get up and slap us, you get up and assault us. It's unrealistic to expect comedians to operate in this kind of environment. And I'm sure you guys have seen the Ricky Gervais clips. He says way more offensive shit and people laugh it off like nothing's wrong. There's gonna be a female remake of Ocean's Eleven. And this is brilliant for the studios because they get guaranteed box office results and they don't have to spend too much money on the cast. So. <laughs> Shut up, I don't care. It's just obviously unfair to expect comedians to do this if we as a society are like, oh no, it's cool. Like you can smack a comedian for making a stupid joke. There are two new developments. One, the Academy is launching a formal investigation uh, into what happened. We don't know what consequences will be, but you know, they're, they're looking into the matter. Chris Rock has decided not to press charges, which I think is the classy move. It makes him look super good. And finally, Will Smith released a statement formally apologizing to Chris Rock after the fact. So while he was giving his acceptance speech, he gave a phony apology where he said sorry to the Academy and to all of his colleagues leagues, but purposely neglected saying sorry to Chris Rock. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, and then a day after the memes and the absolute brutalization of Will Smith and his family on the internet and Twitter, he decided to release a statement that his publicist probably wrote. Violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. I'd like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I'm embarrassed that my actions were not indicative of the men I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. I would also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, all of the attendees, and everyone watching around the world. I'd like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard's family. I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. I'm a work in progress. Sincerely, Will. I mean, if he was actually sorry, he would have apologized during his speech. It just seems so phony and 
written by someone else. I mean, his goal was to get people to stop talking about Jada Smith. And, you know, now more than ever, she's being talked about by everyone. 